What's up guys, it's Dwayne from Mountain Buck. Today we are unboxing and assembling the Killer Instinct Vital X 430 Elite Package Crossbow. This is their brand new crossbow. It shoots 430 feet per second and has an aluminum rail for enhanced accuracy and a bunch of other great stuff in here in this Elite Package. Let's check this thing out and put it together. So right out of the gate here, they give you four hyperlight bolts, a dead stop decocking point. You're going to use this thing a ton. It's nice they threw it in there. Here is our quick detach quiver. Got our foot stirrup, hardware and accessories package. Of course, we have an instruction manual. A Killer Tech 100 grain crossbow broadhead in here. So this thing has everything you need to get out there, practice, but also to hunt. We have a Lumix Speed Ring Scope. These are really nice. I had these on a couple other Killer Instinct crossbows and I really like the uh, customizable reticle in there that adjusts to your distance. Really nice scope. And here is the riser right out of the package. You have a nice black smooth design on here, slightly textured. You have the Vital X430 branding on the side there. Um, and this thing, you'll see how narrow this is. This thing's going to cock down to six and three quarter inches. That's nice and tight for you there. Very easy to maneuver this thing. Of course, you have the X-cam system on here, which is going to make it nice and smooth and easy to cock this thing. And it's going to be very quiet as well. And here we have the stock. Nice black color here. You have an aluminum rail on there for enhanced accuracy. 3.5 pound trigger right here. Nice grippy hand grip right up here. Uh, pistol grip. You also have an adjustable buttstock back here. You could adjust that in a number of positions. Uh, it feels nice and tight. You have a Picatinny rail up here. We're going to put the uh, Lumix Speed Ring Scope. We also have a Picatinny rail on the bottom here. We'll get that quiver on there. Now let's get this thing put together. All right, let me show you how we're going to insert this cable slide here. So if we're looking at it from the bottom, you have these little grooves in the bottom of the cable slide and a big groove around the top on the front. So the bottom of our riser, we're going to insert these like this. And slide it that way. So we have our cable slide in there. Here's the top down view from the front of the crossbow with the groove facing up. Next, we're gonna add this little sticker here onto this black gasket. So we just peel off this adhesive just like that and stick it on there. Just like so. Next, we're going to slide that into our riser, into the riser just like that. Next, we're going to slide the strings into the stock here. So we're taking the riser, we're keeping our finger on this cable slide, and we're going to slide it right into the groove of the stock there. And when we do that, we're going to keep this main string on top of the rail. Just like that. Main string on the rail. So we have it lined up there nice and snug. And just one of the things that I like to do that I've done with other Killer Instinct crossbows is sometimes I'll add this foot stirrup on right on the top here. And that actually helps me create some leverage to pull it this way slightly while I'm pushing the riser down uh, onto the stock. Didn't need to do it this time though, it went on pretty easily. And just a quick note, make sure you set up your riser bolt, the main bolt here with these two washers uh, before you screw it on. All right, as you can see, our riser is firmly bolted onto the stock and we are nice and snug and connected up. The cable slide, is right where it's supposed to be with the groove facing up the main groove and the string is on top of the rail. 
All right, we're making sure our foot stirrup here is aligned so that the slats inside the foot stirrup pegs here are in line with those two screw holes. And we're just gonna tighten that down with two Allen screws. All right, we're nice and snug with the foot stirrup. All right, next up is our quiver mount. Now we have two different options as far as how we want to mount this quiver mount on here. We could do the traditional way with the bolts going across this way, perpendicular to the crossbow, or you could do the offset mount where the bolts are going parallel to the crossbow. So all you're gonna do to attach this to the Picatinny rail is you're going to take this little piece, make sure it's fit on there nice and tight, nice and flush, you can see how that connects up there. And you're gonna add those two screws in, but very loosely, so it's uh, wide enough to where you could still get it on the rail. All right, our offset quiver is in place here. I like how that's set up like that. And like I said, this is a quick detach uh, quiver on here. So if you get out to the stand, you wanna take this thing off, just pop it off like that, slide it out, and then you're good to go. So here is our Lumix speed ring scope. You can see right on here, we have the speed ring settings. So you could determine how fast you're shooting and it will actually adjust the reticle in there based on how fast your bolts are coming out of here. So that's a really nice design. You have these flip up lens cap covers and these are really nice scopes, I really like them. You also have the blue or red illumination in here, making it really nice and easy to acquire your target. So here we have the Vital X 430 is all set and ready to go. This thing shoots up to 430 feet per second. This is Killer Instinct's fastest bow they produce. And I love the look and feel of this thing. You got that nice blackout design on there. And this thing feels nice and comfortable. Of course, you have the collapsible buttstock here. If you're a little bit taller, you want to get a little bit more range out there for yourself. And this crossbow is DSC crank compatible. If you want to get the crank, you could certainly do so. Put it in the buttstock and crank it up that way. You also have a nice, crisp, clean 3.5 pound trigger. It, of course, has an anti dry fire device to keep you safe. It also has a really nice ambidextrous safety feature, which I really like. You have the Lumix Speed Ring 1.5 by 5 by 32 scope. I really like this quick release quiver on here. Just slide that forward and you're good to go. Once you get to your hunting spot, you have an aluminum rail for enhanced accuracy. Nice grippy foregrip on here, nice and sturdy. Of course, you have the X-Cam system. That technology is gonna make this thing smooth and easy to cock and provide less vibration and make it quieter. And take a look at how narrow this thing is. Nice and maneuverable and it cocks down to just six and three quarter inches Axle to axle, that is super narrow, very easy to get in and out of tight spaces, ground blinds, climbing tree stands, all kinds of stuff. This thing weighs in at 7.8 pounds and the draw weight is 195 pounds. Now I'm gonna do a full review video of this beast here, so make sure you check back for that. As always, the links to as we talk about are in the description below. Guys, get yourself some killer mountain buck gear. Do me a favor, hook me up and hit subscribe. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and we'll see you on the next one.